Good morning, friends, and happy Tuesday. It is a little after nine o'clock on Tuesday morning, and I am actually headed over to Hobby Lobby right now to finish or to film the second half of my uh, video that I'm going to be having up on Friday. So that's what I'm going to go do now. And then afterwards, there is a new mural that they have well, two new murals that they have finished in Huntsville, and I want to go check them out. So that is what I'm gonna go do today. Plus, I thought about stopping off at Stove House, which is a kind of a, what I don't even know what to call Stove House. It's kind of like a little restaurant row type of thing with different little restaurants in there, um, music venue. Uh, we stopped there, we were there, I don't know, a couple of months back or whatever and just kind of sat there and relaxed and um, they had ice cream. There's like little shops and stores in there as well. So I thought about stopping off there because I want to try one of their gluten-free crepes. They offer a gluten-free option with their crepes and I want to go check it out. So that is what I'm gonna do. Also for this month of August, I don't know if I told you guys or not, but I was offered a job position. I don't even know if it's a, a job. It is a job. I get paid for it. Um, with We Are Huntsville, which is a local blog website. And back in July, uh, the young lady who runs it asked if I would be interested in writing uh, blogs for We Are Huntsville. And I said, absolutely, that would be so much fun. Um, obviously, for the month of July, I was completely, like, I was gone a lot of July, so I wasn't able to start anything then. Um, but I reached out to her, like, the last week of July and said, hey, um, what would you like me to do for August? Obviously, I can come up with my own stuff too and submit it, um, but they also have ideas as well. So one of the ideas that she um, proposed to me was finding out where all of the uh, charcuterie boards are in Huntsville. So like what restaurants offer charcuterie boards? So I'm like, okay, that sounds great. I can do that. So I did, um, Brian and I went to one last Wednesday evening. We went to Burrit on the Mountain. And Burrit on the Mountain is up on the mountain. It is an old um, like place where you can go. There's a museum up there. There's an overlook. So on Wednesday nights, they offer a, um, wine and view or something like that um, on the mountain, a bird with a view or something like that. And you can go and have wine and cocktails and they offer like a charcuterie board and a couple other like pretzels, cheese, snacks type of thing. So last Wednesday, Brian and I went up there with our neighbors and I ordered the charcuterie board. So I, I have already have that one checked off of my list of uh, char charcuterie boards around Huntsville. And I'm actually just gonna kind of try to get at least four places that I can actually share on the blog and write up about it on the blog just so everybody can have like an idea of like certain places that they can go for charcuterie boards. So um, yeah, so I was very excited about that. So I don't know if I shared that with you guys or not. I know that I did put it on like my Facebook page and I think I put it on Instagram or whatever, but some of you guys don't follow me on my Facebook page and some of you guys don't follow me on Instagram. Some of you guys are just exclusively YouTube and that is fine as well. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's what I, I have to do for this month as well. But um, the, I thought too, I think what a really, and if you guys can come up with any great ideas for like blog submissions, even stuff that you guys would like to see as well, um, because I will definitely, like last Wednesday, I did not share the charcuterie board. I'll put a picture in right here though um, for you guys so you guys can see it, um, what we had last Wednesday but um I did not like film it last week and the reason why I didn't film it is because we were with um our neighbors our neighbors um 
um, went there with us, like they met us there. Uh, so um, I just didn't want to pull out my camera and stuff and start filming while they were there. Um, so anyway, I just try to be respectful, obviously, of my surroundings and people around me and, and all that good stuff. So anywho, but if you guys can come up with any ideas, like, like what you guys would think would be really good, like um, blog submissions, let me know because anything that I will write up or whatever, I will definitely share. Um, but I will also um, try to film as much as I possibly can too regarding those blog submissions because I will blog about them and vlog about them as well. Uh, so but my idea was um, I thought about trying to go around and finding different places, locations, restaurants that offer gluten-free um, menus like a lot of places don't have like gluten-free menus itself but they do substitute like for example I was looking at Wahlburgers the other day and I thought oh my god I really want like a really good cheeseburger and that's when I made burgers at home the other night but I found out that Wahlburgers will actually um, substitute the buns for a vegan for a um, gluten-free bun and I thought that was really really nice so I thought well I'm gonna go there and check it out their tater tots I think they said are gluten-free I'm not sure about their french fries but again those are like things that I want to go find out things I want to go try so I want to find out if that stuff is true and I want to be able to share that on the blog vlog um, and let, let everybody know that they can actually go to Wahlburgers and they will actually offer a gluten-free option as far as like buns go and that's kind of what they did for me when I was in Orlando was um, they would substitute a regular bun for a gluten-free bun, which is fantastic. But anyway, so I'm headed to Hobby Lobby and uh, afterwards, um, I'll check back in with you guys. Y'all, I worked up a sweat in that Hobby Lobby. I was soaked. I mean, it's disgusting. Like, why? I mean, I know it's like 100 degrees outside with a 200 degree index I get it but it not shouldn't be like that in Hobby Lobby but I was hot anyway it's menopause too on top of all that but anyway wow I hope that you guys are excited about this video because there is a lot of great stuff to see at Hobby Lobby in Kirkland's and I do believe that uh, Maureen from the Magical Mundane Life is filming Joanne Fabrics and Michaels. I think that's the one that she is doing. So yeah, make sure that you guys are uh, gonna head over to her channel too and make sure that you guys watch her video because we're, we're in collab with each other. Um, and anyway, so I did pick up a lot of things at Hobby Lobby, I really wasn't expecting to, but then I saw like this and I saw that. And I'm like, oh my gosh, these would look so great on my table, my dining room. So I'm like, I grabbed a bunch of things to use to decorate my dining room table. So, oh my gosh, I am super, super excited about all that. It's like now I wanna get home and start decorating <laughs> my dining room table, which I just might. I just might start just kind of putting that stuff together and, and seeing how I like it and seeing what I can um, lay out and, and all that good stuff. So we shall see. But anyway, so now I am um, on my way over to the other side of town where I'm going to try to see if I can find um, at least one of the murals. I think one of the other murals is completely like on the other, other side of town. Um, but I know that there's one really close, closer. So we're going to go see if I can go find that one. And then um, by that time it should be lunchtime. And then I can swing back around this way on my way home and stop off at O Crepe and pick up a, a gluten-free crepe. And I'm very, very excited about that because I am hungry. And I'm not sure if it's a, a sweet crepe or it's a savory crepe. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm, we will find out once I get there. But right now, let's go do some mural hunting and see if I can go find and locate these new murals that they have in Huntsville. Alrighty, so we're still in my car, but there is Wahlburgers right here in the corner. This is REI Co-op, like sporting goods stuff. Um, this down here is that Kung Fu tea and the Kamado ramen, which I've never been to either one of those. It's definitely something that I need to try. But I think one of the new murals I thought was over here. Okay, I know there's one on that side. Oh, there's new stuff coming up over here. These are all going to be like 
um, housing, well, apartments, like luxury apartments through here and then more shopping and all that good stuff. So I thought that the other mural was over here. I guess I could be wrong. Who knows if okay, I'm not gonna go down that road cause that road's not, that's not fixed. Okay, so now I, I need to Google where this other mural is at. Oh, and then right back here too. Oh my gosh. So I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm really into my window so you guys can see. So back there, where you can see where that crane and stuff is at. That back there is going to be our new amphitheater. We're talking huge, huge amphitheater. And then obviously all of this is gonna be uh, parking and, and whatnot. But yeah, that's gonna be a huge amphitheater where they're gonna hold concerts and, and stuff like that, which is gonna be super neat. Um, that is a huge, huge development here in our city, which is great. Um, over here we have Top Golf. I've always wanted to go here. I have never done a Top Golf before. If you guys have ever done Top Golf, let me know. I'm always curious because I've always wanted to try it. Brian has a bad shoulder, so he doesn't think that he'd be able to do it, but it's definitely something that I want to try. And then I'm not exactly sure like what this building, oh, it's High Point. High Point Climbing and Fitness. Oh, okay, wow. So you can go in there and go climbing and stuff. That is really neat. And then I know over here too is like a climbing wall. There's also a Holiday Inn right over here as well. So if you guys come into town, you could stay at the Holiday Inn, be able to access all of this fun stuff. There's another view of Top Golf right there. Okay, so let me turn back down this way. We're also getting a Trader Joe's, which is over there in the corner. We'll go look at that in just a second. Um, now we're back over here again in the corner of REI and Wahlburgers. So I'm gonna go over here and check this out because I wanna see if the mural, I know there's one on this side, but I don't know if it's the one that I'm actually looking for. So let's go, let's go see. Ah, uh, that one, oh yeah, there's one over there, perfect. There's the one I wanted to go see. We also have a Dave and Buster's right there. Eat, drink, play, and watch. So let me go see if I can go look at this mural really quick. There's our Trader Sam's gonna be right over there. Okay, so right here is Wahlburgers. Right there is REI. Um, this is the one mural that I have shared with you guys before. And this guy, the reason why this mural is on here is because he, which is, oh my gosh, what's his name? Little Richard. I think that's what it was, Little Richard. Um, he's actually buried here in Huntsville. So that's why there's a mural of him up there. And then this one down here is the new mural. So we're gonna go down here and check this one out. So this is the other mural that they just finished. Unity is love. And I think that's absolutely amazing. I think that's so cool. I love murals on the walls. I think they're just the coolest things. I'm curious to know if they're gonna finish any more like on this side, cause there's like nothing between this one and that one down there of Little Richard. So I'm just curious to know if they're gonna put any more here. I would assume so, it kind of looks like they might, but I just think that's so neat. There is definitely a lot of new things coming into this area. This is such a big growing area as well. Um, and it's like I don't want to give my secret away of my my little town because I love Huntsville so much But this has been rated like one of the top ten places to live and raise your family and for good reason It's absolutely an awesome place to live and we are so glad to be back here. We really really are um, I will come back one of these days. We're gonna do Wahlburgers again because I definitely want to see about their gluten-free buns and stuff that they substitute for their other stuff but yeah what a cool place i mean look at there's so much construction going on over here and like i said over there is where that amphitheater is going to be and then of course there's the murals and all that stuff that looks like some type of a parking garage which wouldn't surprise me and then i don't know what's going over there but yeah lots of stuff lots of stuff happening over here in this area there's our Trader Joe's, which is gonna be opening up very soon as well. Very, very excited about that. 
Alrighty, so I actually just looked up to see where the other new mural that they put up was and it actually says it's about 40 minutes away, which I don't I don't see how that is because everything is pretty much like right here unless it's like clear on the other side. So I'm not exactly sure. Um, I'm not going to try to look for it or find it today. Basically what I'm going to end up doing is like Brian and I maybe this weekend will go out there for dinner and because it's a pizza place. They've got a huge mural on the wall of this pizza place on the outside um, and it just looks so cool from all the pictures that I've seen. Um, Anthony Bourdain is on it and I love Anthony Bourdain and I just I just feel you know sad that he's gone but um, anyway so yeah about 40 minutes from this spot right here and I'm already 30 minutes from my house from this spot right here so I don't think I'm gonna try to drive out there like I said Brian and I will try to do it on another day where we can go and go have dinner out there instead of just kind of like going out there to see a mural so so glad that I got to see this one. Unity is love. That's amazing. I'm so happy about that. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so now I'm going to start heading back over to Stowe House and let's try to see if we can go find some lunch over there. So I actually found another mural that I wanted to go look at. This is right outside of Straight to Ale Brewing. Um, and then right over there is Yellow Hammer and Rock and Roll Sushi is over there in that building. But this is one of the murals that I've been wanting to come look at as well. This one says, what is it? It says, space is our place. Because this whole area is based off of space and NASA and stuff. That I love that mural too. What a very cool mural. I love those. I just think murals are so neat. I know, there's just something about it. I'm hoping that they paint something else right here. That would be really cool too. All right, so we made it to Stove House and this is the Gaslight Alley, which is all like lit up. Obviously you can't see any of that, but the little sign is lit up. And over here we have Charlie Foster's and F45, which I don't know what F45 is, but I do know that Charlie Foster's is coffee so very neat so I don't know what all of these like mechanisms and stuff are but this is kind of what they have out here and I'm not exactly sure what this place used to be before they refurbished it but it's kind of got all kinds of like gears and stuff and over here is the eats drinks and live music and then over here is the gas shop gaslight alley so obviously this is where all the shops and stores and stuff are so here is where all of like the little restaurants and stuff are. So they've got Fresco Grill, Bark and Barrel Barbecue, El Cazador, Oak Crepe, Camado, Parm and Pepper. And this is where like they have people sitting around, you can eat, they have bands, all kinds of stuff here too. We are headed over to Oak Crepe. Alrighty, so I got a savory crepe and this is a chicken teriyaki with chipotle sauce and she says to bite it like a sandwich so that's what I'm gonna do but it looks like it's going to be very very messy <laughs> oh my goodness mm -hmm. delicious Wow, that's really good. Mm. That is so good. I love this song too. And by the way too, this is all a gluten-free option. So they do have gluten-free options. And then of course, they have a sweet and savory. This is the savory. They actually have a sweet one as well, which I might have to come back and get because those ones looked delicious. Mm. So good though. Mm. Woo, you guys, that was so good. I did not finish all of it, obviously. I'm gonna actually bring it home and let Brian try the rest of it. That was so delicious. I did bring home a menu, <clears throat> so I can actually study the menu and look at it. So there's their savory crepes. I, I got the chicken teriyaki, but she um, substituted the teriyaki for chipotle because chipotle is gluten-free and the teriyaki is not. And then this is the savory side. Uh, oh, excuse me, the sweet side, um, where you can get like strawberry 
bananas and chocolate crepes and Oreo matcha, matcha and leche lover, all kinds of different nice um, crepes. I'm definitely gonna make my way back here and uh, try to get myself a sweet crepe next time. I've tried the savory, now I need to try a sweet. So, I think though, since Starbucks is right down the street, I'm actually gonna get myself a frappuccino before I head home. But I actually love Stove House. I think it's just a really neat atmosphere. I wanna come out here when it's a little bit cooler because like I said, right now it's 100 degrees with the 200 heat index. Um, <clears throat> And I want to like walk the shops and see everything, but um, I would be a wet, soggy, sloppy mess like I was coming out of Hobby Lobby a few minutes ago. Um, but anyway, so yeah, let's go stop off at Starbucks and pick up a frappuccino and then make our way home. And uh, yeah, it's kind of been a fun afternoon or fun morning. It's only 1130. <laughs> it's so early. I'm sitting here at a stop red, a stoplight, and this tree looks wonky. That needs trimmed, and then this needs shaped up a little bit, because that tree's driving me crazy. Somebody in Huntsville needs to come out here and get that tree trimmed up, because it looks really silly. Alrighty, so I'm skipping Starbucks, because the line is too long. It was almost out, if I would have parked, if I would have pulled in, another car behind me would have been in the street. So that's how long of the line was. So we are skipping Starbucks today. Well, oh, that's sad. I'm very sad about that. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to go home and find something sweet to eat there. Y'all, I just sat right here and did a haul of some of the fall things that I picked up while I was at uh, Hobby Lobby today. So um, be looking forward to that video. Oh my gosh, I like, I could not stop myself when I went into Hobby Lobby and I started seeing some things and like my head was like, these are great ideas. I have an idea for this, I have an idea for that. And basically everything that I got there is pretty much for the dining room. So everything that I will be using in the dining room will come from this little haul that I picked up today so um oh my gosh whoo it's gonna look so pretty i'm like so excited about it but anyway so yeah i'm gonna grab myself some water and then i'm going to take off my jewelry and kind of sit for a second i need to start editing my and fall hobby lobby video that yeah the one that's gonna go up on wednesday i need to sit down and start working on that and uh i'll talk with you guys in a little bit Alrighty guys, so I got two packages in mail today. This one is from Thrive Market. And I didn't order very much from Thrive Market because I already had plenty of things. I just needed a few things and I just can't remember exactly off the top of my head what they were. But I'm sure once I open the box, I will see it and I will know what I got. I think I got some more of those. Oh, no I didn't. Okay, so. This one is baking powder. I got some baking powder from them, which is great. Uh, this is gluten-free baking powder, which I don't know if, I mean, I would assume baking powder is gluten-free anyway. Is regular, is regular baking powder gluten-free? Somebody let me know, because I'm not sure. But anyway, I got some just in case. And then I picked up some different honey grams, different than the ones I bought before. So I'm gonna give these ones a try. These are the honey grams gluten-free style crackers, because I wasn't, I didn't really care for the other ones that I got from Thrive Market, so I'm gonna give these ones a try. And then I picked up some, what is this? This is everything bagel spice blend. So I got a spice blend, which everything but the bagel spice blend, which is really great because I was out anyway. And then I got this gluten-free pancake mix before I um, st before I got the Bisquick one. So, I mean, I'll still give this one a try. I don't know anything about this one, so we'll have to find out. I've heard people talk about King Arthur. So this should be pretty good. So I'll try this one too. And then I picked up some chomps because I've heard nothing but great things about these. And I love like beef jerky. And um, I just know that these ones are gluten free and they're good for you. So I like to have like snacks to carry with me wherever I go sometimes. So let me put this stuff away. We always like burn that stuff. And then the next thing that I got, ooh, 
I'm so excited about this one. This is a new bag purse that I ordered. Um, it's called MZ Wallace. And I have never owned an MZ Wallace bag before. And I really like the way that these have, these have looked. Um, and I wanted something different. So I picked this up. Oh my gosh, is it gonna be too big? Oh my gosh, I think it's gonna be too big. I mean, it's probably not gonna be too big. But anyway, it comes in this like cover. So, so okay, good. So it's not this big to protect it. Oh my gosh. I'm super excited. Oh yeah, no, this is perfect. Oh my gosh, have you guys ever heard of MZ Wallace? MZ Wallace. Uh, this is so nice. And I know it's a nice crossbody as well. Yes, strap with a crossbody. Excellent. Oh, and it comes with like a little pouch inside too, which I really, really love that. Um, I'm excited because I wanted something different that I could use on our trip next month out west um, because I needed something that was kind of like lightweight, roomy, and comfortable that I could have as a crossbody as well. Um, and this was like something that showed up and I've had my eye on one of these before. I just never took the plunge and bought it, but I'm so glad now that I did because I'm really, really liking this. I actually ordered a wallet as well. It just hasn't come in yet, but anyway, yeah. So MZ Wallace, I don't know what size this one is, medium something, I don't know. Oh yeah, it's definitely very, very roomy. And I'm very happy about that. Yeah, this is gonna be great. Lots of room, lots of space, lots of places to put things. Cool crossbody, which I love. I love this material too, it's like perfect. Awesome. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for today. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me for a little bit. Hey, let me know if you guys want me to do like a full review and show you guys everything inside this bag and show you guys how I put everything in there. Um, if so, leave me a comment below. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.